What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Yep. We, we have been trying to get back to our normal, what would you call it, programming? Just ri programming. rhythms of putting out video content and talking directly to all the people we get to work with. So. Yeah, but this video is super important, so we want to go ahead and drop it before our new studio setup is ready to go. It's geared to you realtors out there and you buyers, low appraisals. Obviously, that's like a four letter word that's popping no, up no, no, more no. and more often with the rapidly appreciating market. Yeah. But there's been an interesting trend that we've noticed lately, Jonathan. What's that been? Yeah, usually if you see a low appraisal, it's a valuation. You know, it's like the comps are bad or you overpriced the house. But what we've seen lately, and when I say lately, four times in the last two weeks, in the last two weeks, the listed square foot on the house versus the actual square foot on the house is a massive gap. I'm talking, Way wrong. talking 200, 250 square feet on like 2,000 square foot houses. 10% of the house. 10% of the house. So that's a big deal. And yeah. so when your subject property square feet is less, that's going to cause an issue in the appraisal. Yeah. You ordered a Supreme pizza, fully loaded, large. They showed up with a medium cheese, mm. but they charged you for the large Supreme. Yeah, exactly. That's what's going on out there, guys. I don't know if it's intentional. Like, I don't know if it's like, hey, there's some listing agents out there that are thinking, hey, in this crazy market, let's, just let's push. pretend yeah. and see if we get caught. Or HCAT um, says that. So yeah. that's what we're going to go with. So, by. you know, I don't know if it's malintent or if it's just negligence or what's going on, but it's a problem. You guys need to be aware of it. Here's how we deal with it. Yeah, and before we talk about how we deal with it, that's the important thing of having an appraisal for your buyers is Amen. knowing the value of the house, but also are you getting the home that's listed? Is it 3,000 square feet? Actually, it's 2,800 square feet. So it's like, even if you have a cash buyer, yeah, even if you have a cash buyer, this is why you get an appraisal because the home might actually be smaller than it is. Yeah, so the appraisers, sketch, when they're going out there, sketch. guess what they're doing? They're laser shooting the building. Most of the time. Yep. Uh, sometimes they're doing hard measurements, but a lot of times it's with lasers. They're laser shooting it. Interior walls. And on the appraisal, there is a sketch that shows the actual breakdown on the appraisal itself. And adios, got someone leaving right now. Um, so you can look at that sketch on the appraisal yeah, to see it, the dimensions of the exact walls. And the, it's the gross living area of the home. That's what the square footage of the house is, not the patios or coverings or things like that. It's the gross living area. Anyway, so watch the sketch on your appraisals. And yep. so kind of what's some of the, the feedback or coaching on, on what to do when these things so, come in smaller than they're listed. So super easy, right? Like the house is 10% smaller, that impacts the value. Obviously the listing agent and the sellers don't wanna hear that. Um, so the burden of proof is on them. We have a sketch. Legitimate that sketch. That is Recently up to date. Yeah. Like the, this is the size of your house. So they have to prove us wrong on that. They've gotta prove the appraiser wrong on that. And so one easy thing is get their appraisal from when they bought the house. Yep. What does that say? Or refinance that has the shut a few people up like that. You know, they go get the old appraisal, they're like, oh crap, yeah, you're right. The square footage is smaller. You got no argument. If the dimensions are different between the sketches though, simply grab a tape measure and go measure the wall yourself because appraisal one said that wall was 15 feet long. Appraisal two says that it's 10 feet long. Yeah, go you and measure it yourself. That pretty easy. Yeah, basic geometry right there. Yeah, here. if you need a tape measure, you can borrow mine uh, or pick one up at Home Depot. Yeah, and I've even had one on a new construction deal recently. It's one of them. Yes, and that was like, shocking. It's like the blueprints show the square foot our, our appraiser came up with, but yet they listed 150 square feet more. And I'm just like, that's right. just not cool. Yeah, that, so that doesn't feel like Buyer reasons. beware, for yeah. sure. So this is just kind of a call to urgency. Um, you know, look at that sketch, look at the square feet, not only the comps that are on these appraisals. 100%. Watch out for the smaller house, guys. Yeah, we'll, do, out there. Yeah, we'll do a bigger video on just kind of the, the appraisals and, and some of the nuances we're dealing with right now in the industry. Yep. In the meantime, stay cool. All right. Out there. Adios.